Hello Taurus, how are you today? Welcome to your top secret cross watchers video. Everything you'd like to know about your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and their actions. We're going to clarify all the cards. We're going to get you the information you need to know. Thank you beautiful subscribers. I love you so much. I'm so grateful and welcome all newcomers. Let's see what we have. Two of Swords. Ooh, they're trying to ignore their feelings. But you can really see that they can't. <laughs> Two of Swords. This person's actually peeking out from underneath their hat. I like it. The little bird feeder. So they like the birds tweeting. Tweet, tweet. They're thinking about you. Not talking. Here they are moving slowly towards you. So they feel as though they want you, but they don't want you to know that they want you. <laughs> I love the chariot snail. It's so funny. All right. So let's see what else they are thinking in terms of their thoughts of you. Look at this. A lover's card. Gemini energy, Cancerian energy, and the two of swords is Libra energy. Okay. So there we go. I'm also going to turn this over to, there we go, okay, three different views here. All right, so let's see what else we have. Now let's look in their heart space and see where they're at. If it's a new relationship, we'll see. You never know what's going to come up in the heart space. There we go, Queen of Cups. Well, that's love. That is a big cup of love that that queen has. Look at that, that seashell. She's sitting on top of that love, not talking about it. All right, so let's see. It's an energy. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. So you have two Cancerian placements here. Interesting. Okay, what else is in their heart space? That's a pretty big heart space. Look at this, a Five of Wands. They feel like they have to compete for your attention, Taurus. Look at that. They want to be very crafty. They want to make all the right moves. They don't want you to get away. And they do feel as though they have to compete for you. And they're willing to do it. They're willing to do it, but kind of secretly, kind of quietly. Very interesting. What else is in your person's heart space for them? At the, for you at this time. Excuse me. <laughs> Backwards. Okay, Six of Cups, sweet thoughts, sweet memories, a desire, a fantasy to be with you, a fantasy to create a beautiful life together also. Six of Cups is oftentimes somebody that you've known a long time. They could be from a past life, but oftentimes they're from childhood, high school, or a younger time in your life, maybe college, whatever applies. Take it as it resonates. What else do we have? Now, this is their intention, so we're going to get into their intentions. What does this person intend? Oh, look at all of this. Okay, I'm going to take this one. It is the Taurus King. Taurus, they really have you nailed. Your person really intends to have you. They intend to dominate the competition. Okay, so that's their intention. They intend to dominate the competition for the win. All right. The Queen of Swords, they're going to be very slick about this. This person is also a person who really tells the truth. They want the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I call it Judge Judy. And if you're not an American TV watcher, Judge Judy can spot a liar across the room in two seconds and chop, chop. <laughs> She's finished with them. So it really speaks to the fact that your person has every intention of being very honest. They'll play by the rules. You know, definitely, they'll be honest, they'll be straightforward. They're not going to try to trick you in any way, but they are going to work and at this until they're willing. Their knees are bending from the labor. So your person really intends to just pull out the stops. They just, they definitely want the win. They're trying to be strategic. They're really in love with you. They're trying to play it cool because they know that they have competitors. You haven't chosen them yet is what I'm seeing, Taurus. All right, so their actions. Right now, they're hanging around, looking at things from a different perspective. They're also very much being strategic. You know, we get these cards of strategy. You know, look at the chess pieces with the five of wands. It's like, yeah, I'm going to make my way across that board to the front of the line. 
for Taurus. Look at this high priestess keeping secrets. But I really see this as being discreet. You know, you don't talk about your plans if you plan on winning, right? You just act and look at this. This is her action. Ace of Cups are going to give you their heart. They're going to give you their heart, Taurus. So we will see if you want it. That will be your decision. And I, I don't even cover that in this particular reading. This is just all about you and how they feel. So let's go ahead and clarify this for you, Taurus. Wow, strategy, discretion, trying to play it cool. But they are madly in love with you. Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. They don't, they are really curious and they feel that you are their soulmate twice. The Minor Arcana Soulmate, Six of Cups, and the Lover's Card. So we have Gemini. We also have Five of Wands is Leo Energy. Six of Cups is Scorpio. Taurus, here you are in your reading, of course. The Queen of Swords is Libra Energy. The Ten of Wands is Sagittarius Energy. The Hanged Man is Pisces. The High Priestess is Cancer. And the Ace of Cups is Water Sign. All right, so let's take a look and see. Why is this person trying to play it so cool? They want to make sure that there's equal give and take. They want to make sure that you are responding to them in a way that is not boring. It looks as though they're playing it cool, too, because it doesn't look like you've shown any interest. And that's reasonable, right? Why would you put your heart on your sleeve if you thought somebody wasn't necessarily interested in you? So they don't think you're paying any attention to them. They are feeling sort of sad and gloomy. But they are going to still make an approach, you know. Their thoughts are that you are their soulmate, and they're not going to let that die in the vine. They also think that you are underestimating them. And they're like, oh, no, you should not underestimate me. They feel as though in some ways that your approach to love may be less mature than theirs. Because that is a page of cups, and pages are, you know, immature. Sometimes children can affect your love life. So let's see why else this person feels that you are a lightweight in love or that you're just not identifying them for the value that they are. This person feels that they're an empress. And part of what's happening here is they want you to recognize their value. They do not think that you have taken them seriously at all. And this is the when pigs fly, okay? So they're waiting for you to recognize their value with the lover's card. That's why they're moving slowly and strategically, sort of like, you know, Navy SEALs. <laughs> so let's see here. I don't know that's how Navy SEALs, you know, move, but, you know, you get the drift. All right, so let's see here. Ace of Cups, they love you, but they are going to, they're not going to open their heart to you until they get a response from you. Until they are something that you're showing them back, they're going to fight the good fight, but they are definitely going to move slowly and to see if your heart is going to open up. Okay, so let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. Why is the Queen of Cups here for what's in their heart space? Well, look at that. They think that you're very happy being single. One of the things they have to compete with is you're, you are enjoying your single life. They know that you don't need them. They know they have to prove their value to you. And that's one of the things that they have to deal with and fight for when they fight for your love. All right, so let's see what else we have. Why is the Five of Wands here? That's also something they love about you, is your independence. They really love that about you. They think you look good, you smell good, you're single and ready to mingle, and it just makes you all that much more attractive. Why is the Five of Wands here? Ooh, look at this. Oh, they are really undone by the competition. It looks as though you, you might have even shut them down. For some of you, you may just not have accepted this person at all. So it looks like they've tried to make moves on you. And they're getting pretty riled up. That's Leo energy. They're ready. Five of Wands is clarifying the Five of Wands. They're ready for a fight. They just are. They're willing to do it. They have remorse and regret. Um, for possibly the strength card because I'm getting the energy that they might have revealed something to you before you were ready to hear it. Like you would have just thought it was weird. Like here's this person. How could they madly be in love with me? How could they blurt something out in the past? 
uh, when I really, we weren't dating or anything. How could they even know me well enough? So I'm really getting that your person has watched you, has wanted you, has longed for you for many years probably, especially if you've known this person since childhood. You know, love has no logic, right? Love isn't logical. So we have the Page of Wands, okay? So the Page of Wands energy is clarifying the Six of Cups, throwing caution to the winds, doing the work, Virgo energy coming in slowly. But we have now two slow-moving cards. We have a Chariot card that's a snail, and we have the Virgo energy of the Knight of Pentacles walking his horse. Okay, we also get this person as being discreet. Once again, we have the, oops, <clears throat> the High Priestess is here twice, okay? So this person's going to be very stealthy in their approach. It's like they're throwing caution to the winds, but you don't know that. Why is the King of Pentacles here for their intention is to win Taurus, okay? The Sun card. They just love everything about you. You are a happy place for them. They love to laugh with you. They love to talk with you. They love to do virtually anything with you. It does look like you might have been childhood friends. You could have been childhood sweethearts. They feel as though you don't take them seriously, but they're very serious about you, and they're about to prove it. And I think you may accept this offer. <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, why is it here? For their intentions. So they really want to be sure that you understand that they're well-intentioned. The Judgment card. So there could be something for some of you that shows that this could be a lover from the past who wants to return after having had a rough time. You might have released this person at an earlier time or an earlier age in your life. So if you went to high school together or, you know, university together, you may have dated this person and broken up with them just because you were at that point in your life. You weren't really ready to settle down, nor were they. So I feel as though... Yeah, it looks like you know this person really well. Okay, the Page of Swords. They're watching you on social media. So that shows that when they see you having good time and you're out, a good time when you're out having fun with friends, <clears throat> they're looking at all the pictures where there are people of the same sex they are. <laughs> they're looking and going, what is Taurus up to? Who do they love? Who do they like? The world card shows that this person's trying to have a whole new approach with you. They know that the approach of the past didn't work, and so they're really thinking about what they're actually going to do. They're planning it. So that world card is one chapter ends, a new chapter begins. They think the world of you, and they plan on this being very successful. I think they're going to offer you a trip, Tiki Torches. We have starry nights, tiki torches. We have surfboards. We have what looks like a Hawaiian surf. I feel like your person could offer to take you on a vacation, but they won't do it until the two of you are settled in your relationship. But they really do think about what the future means and spending a lot of time with you. <clears throat> Look at there. There's a the star card. Starry nights and tiki torches. Now we have Aquarius energy. That is hopes and dreams for love coming true. So they plan on the win. They really do. The Ace of Cups, they feel as though you, they have some inkling that you have feelings for them, but you did walk away from them at one point. So that shows why they're being so careful and why they're trying to be so strategic. So we have Nine of Cups. We go from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. So... This person wins you back. It looks like that's their action. It'll be up to you to decide whether they actually have the win. So sending you love, Taurus. Bye-bye. Thank you.